What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Villager Trading Hall. This Villager Trading Hall will allow you to get discounts on your trades. It works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on your phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, and another Switch, or PC. For this villager trading hall, all you'll need is one bed, one piston, one lever, two trap doors, about two and a half stacks of solid blocks, you guys can use any solid blocks you want, ten slabs, two water buckets, and finally ten workstations, you guys can use any workstations that you want. The first step is to find a place to make your villager trading hall. You guys should make it in a place that is at least 100 blocks away from any other workstations or beds. Once you guys have done that, take some solid blocks, you guys can use any solid blocks you want, then place down 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Once you have placed down 21 blocks in a row, just like that, place another two rows on top. Once you guys are done creating that wall, come over to one side. Now, place down three blocks. Then place three more blocks in front. Then skip one block to the side. Now place down three blocks. And three more blocks in front. Then do that again. Skip one block to the side. Place down three blocks. And three more in front. You guys are going to want to continue doing that until you get to the other side. Once you guys are done with that step, your villager trading hall should be looking something like this. Each of those walls will divide your villagers into their capsules. The next step is to temporarily create an infinite water source. To do this, place two blocks, then place two over here, two over here, and two over here. Then place down two water buckets. By doing that, you guys will be able to use two buckets to fill in all the water for this entire villager trading hall. The next step is to come over here. Now place down a block, then place a water bucket over here. This water will ensure that our villagers will not dealing from their workstations. The next step is to place a slab over here. That slab will prevent mobs from being able to kill the villagers. Once you guys have done that, come over to this next spot, place down a block, then place some water over here, and place a slab on top of the block. Then move on to the next spot, place a block, place some water, then place a slab on top of the block. You guys are going to want to continue doing that for all of the other capsules. After you guys are done with that step, your villager trading hall should be looking something like this. At this point, you guys can fill in and break your infinite water source. This is because you will not need any more water to make this villager trading hall. The next step is to come over here. Now place a block at the spot and continue doing that until you get to the other side. The next step is to lure a villager over to your villager trading hall. I am now going to show you guys a couple easy ways that you guys can do that in survival mode. You guys can take any villager you want over to this trading hall, however, you guys cannot take any green coat villagers over there. This is because green coat villagers will not link to workstations. One way you guys can do that is to come to the capsule where you want to take a villager, then place three blocks over here, and three more on top, then place two over here, three over here, and three more on top, then come to the back and create a little temporary staircase. Now take some rails and place rails from here all the way to where your nearest villager is. Once you guys see a villager, place that in a minecart, then gently push it over towards the minecart. Now, push it all the way up until you get it right before entering the hole. Once the villager is here, you guys can break the minecart, and as you guys can see there, it should fall right in. After your villager has fallen into the capsule, try to place some blocks right at the spot above its head. It may take a few tries, however, eventually, you guys should be able to place the block. After doing that, you guys can break these blocks that you placed earlier, and also break your rails and the temporary staircase. If you guys have villagers that are very far away from your villager trading hall and you guys don't want to use so many rails to take them over, then you guys can use a boat. To do that, place down a boat, then get in the boat and go towards the villager. As you guys can see there, it should come in. Then use a lead and slowly walk over towards your villager trading hall. Once you guys are close to your villager trading hall, you guys can take it out of the boat, put it in a minecart, and some rails, then take it up. After you guys have your first villager in this capsule, place down a bed right next to the capsule, then wait. After a few moments, the villager should show green particles and link to that bed, as you guys can see there. By placing that bed, you will designate this area as a village so that you'll be able to link all your villagers to the workstations in this villager trading hall. After placing that bed, break the block in front and replace it with whatever workstation that you want. Then just wait. After a few moments, as you guys can see there, it should show green particles and link to that workstation. If the villager does not link to that workstation, then you guys should make sure that you use villagers that you have not traded with before. Once your villager has linked to the workstation, you guys can check its trades. If you guys don't like the trades that it's giving you, 
Then you guys can easily reset the trades. I am now going to show you all how to do that. To do that, break this workstation and replace it. And as you guys can see there, as soon as the villager relinks, it will have new trades. Once you guys have created your first villager trading capsule, then come to the second one. Now I suggest you guys create some temporary walls around the sides so you guys can easily get your villager into that capsule. Then create a little temporary staircase in the back. And I place some rails down. Then either extend your rails to the nearest villager or use your boat and lead to take it over here. Once you guys find a villager, place that in a minecart, then nudge it in, then push it over. If your villager goes into the capsule spot before you're able to take it out of the minecart, then you guys can easily take it out. All you guys have to do is come over here, break this block, then break the minecart, then replace this block, and as you guys can see there, your villager will be freed from the minecart. So you guys have done that. You can then come up here and place a block above the villager's head. Remember, it may take a few tries. However, you should be able to place the block eventually. Then you guys can break the temporary walls that you made and also break your temporary rail staircase. After you guys have done that, break this block and replace it with whatever workstation that you want. Then, as you guys can see there, the villager should link to the workstation. It will show green particles. Once you guys have done that, continue that process to make all of the other villager trading capsules. I recommend that you guys take the villagers over one villager at a time, so you guys can easily link it to the workstation in front of it. Once you guys are done creating all those villager trading capsules, come over to one side, then count five workstations. One, two, three, four, five. Then come over one block. Now, count five blocks forward. One, two, three, four, five. Then place that block. Now place two blocks over here and two blocks over here. Then place a block over here and another row of five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then place a block at this spot. Now take a piston and place it over here. Then place a lever behind it. Now place blocks around just like this. Now place three blocks over here. Then place a trapdoor over here and a trapdoor over here. Once you guys are done doing that, place a block over here, then flip this lever. That should cause the piston to extend forward. This chamber will allow us to easily cure zombie villagers. That will allow us to get discounts at a villager trading hall. The next step is to take a villager over to the spot. One easy way you guys can do that is by using a minecart and rails. Once you guys have a villager over there, place a block on top. Now you guys are going to want to take a zombie over to this other chamber over here. I'm now going to show you all one easy way you guys can do that in survival mode. To do that, create a little temporary staircase along the side. Now, place the trapdoor over here and shut it. Zombies will see trapdoors as full blocks, so they should walk right over when they come over here. Once it is nighttime, find a zombie, then walk up this little staircase. When you guys do that, the zombie should follow, then come over here. And as you guys can see there, the zombie should walk right off into that chamber. Once you guys have a zombie in there, you guys can break the trapdoor and place it with a solid block. Then, break a little temporary staircase. If you guys want to ensure that the zombie will never despawn, you guys can use a name tag to name it. To do that, just place down an anvil, then put your name tag in, and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it zombie. Then take it out, and name the zombie. I'm now going to show you all how to get discounts with this villager trading hall. To do that, flip this lever. That will allow the zombie to start attacking that villager. As you guys can see there, your villager should turn into a zombie villager. I recommend that you guys have your game on hard so that you ensure that the villager will always turn into a zombie villager. If you guys don't have it on hard, you guys can still get it to become a zombie villager. However, you guys will have less of a chance of that happening because sometimes the villager will die. Once you guys have created a zombie villager, you guys can break this block over here. When you do that, the zombie should come over. Then you guys can flip this lever. Then you'll be able to separate your zombie from your zombie villager. From here, you guys can replace that block. Now, splash the zombie villager with a potion of weakness. Then, feed it a golden apple. As you guys can see there, it should show red particles and start shaking. After a while, the zombie villager will be cured and will turn it back into a regular villager. As you guys can see there, it may take a couple minutes, but eventually the zombie villager should turn back to a regular villager. From here, I recommend that you guys close these trap doors to ensure no mobs will be able to kill the villager if it ever turns nighttime. Once you guys have cured your zombie villager, as you guys can see here, you should get discounts on your trades. By the way, if you guys want to get more discounts, you guys can cure the zombie villager again to get more discounts. To cure the villager again, just open these trap doors, then flip this lever, which will allow 
the villager to get attacked by a zombie. Once the zombie turns the villager into a zombie villager, you guys can break this block to lure the zombie over here. Then flip the piston to separate them. Now replace this block. Then splash your zombie villager with the potion of weakness. Then feed it a golden apple. Then it will eventually be cured and you guys will be able to get more discounts. Once your villager has been cured, as you guys can see here, you will get a better discount. By the way, you guys can make this villager trading hall smaller or bigger to fit your survival needs. If you guys wanted to make it bigger, you guys can make it longer or just add another row over there. If you guys want to make it smaller, just have less villager capsules. One easy way you guys can get a bunch of villagers to use in your villager trading hall is by making my villager breeder. If you guys make my villager breeder, just make sure that you wait till your baby villagers to grow into adults before bringing them over to the villager trading hall. A link to my villager breeder tutorial will be in the description. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple Minecraft bedrock villager trading hall. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching.